Hi guys. It's me Aries. We have a new Call of Duty mobile video. Before I start, make sure to give this a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell button to keep you updated. Let's get started. In today's video I will show you all the leaks I have collected in Season 7. We know that Rank and Battle Pass seasons are coming to an end. The ranking is different in the Battle Pass season because the ranking is last for two months and the Battle Pass is one month. So next season in the rankings is Season 5 and the Battle Pass is Season 7. Hopefully that's clear. The topic of our video is what's the Battle Pass theme, new weapons, about HBR and more. Is there a new score streak to add? The answer is yes. It leaked into the Cordite 0G and Nikto trailer. This is the trailer where you can see the new score streaks. Watch carefully for you to see. You see the new score streak, but what is it called? I know many of you know this, but for those who don't know it is called Bombardment. How does it even work? By the way credits to the owner of this clips to Kix Gaming and Joe Bidens for this two clips for Bombardment. This is featured in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Bombardment is an aerial missile attack score streak similar to the Predator missile score streaks of previous games. When used, the player designated three spots on the map to be bombarded with missiles. The locations the player have chosen then present red annulus rings, coupled with gigantic red lasers, that originates from the chosen location to warn nearby players that the area is about to be bombarded with missiles. Bombardment is useful for area denial capabilities, such as completely walling off a team from an objective or area. In Infinite Warfare, the points to unlock is about 850 point score streak. It is more expensive than the Predator missile, but for me it is better because you have the chance to wash out 5 enemy in 3 shots, even when they are far away. This bombardment is officially going to be on COD Mobile because as you saw in the trailer. It is no longer leaked but officially placed on the Call of Duty Mobile. Next we will talk about HBR. Someone posted this picture that HBR A3 is available at the credit store, but it's a fake. Don't spread fake news. The COD Mobile has a response to this tweet that, you are correct. That isn't real, and while we do plan to have the HBR A3 make an appearance as free or grind weapon, it mostly likely won't be in May. It is similar to Cordite or Faro and other weapons that you must grind or buy using your COD points. Most people ask when they will release it again as a free weapon. This is from their Reddit community update. I'll read it to you. HBR A3, Availability. One other constant inquiry since even before this season released was, when will the HBR A3 be available as a free option? We have even seen some leaks sharing around an apparent marketing image for this weapon, but we are sorry to say that the HBR A3 isn't going to be released this month for the global version of Call of Duty Mobile. However, we are happy to say that it will be released next month. In global, they don't yet to release the HBR in this month of May and they don't mentioned about on the Garena server, if HBR is also free. But I think there is also HBR free in Garena. Let's hope for that. Again the release date for HBR as a free option would be in June, 2020. Let's not expect that, there will be a skin given to us for HBR A3, I guess it would be default skin. That's fine as long as we can get it free, we don't have to complain more about it. The next one, is there will be a public test server again? The answer for that is no, and here's the reason why. Public test server. For the last two months we've done a public test server for the global version of Call of Duty Mobile before each of the major in-game updates. However, for this next update coming in June, we have no current plans to implement a public test server. We utilize these public test servers to help find bugs and to see how certain features actually hold up when being used by tens of thousands of players, but this time around we have a bit longer before our release and the test server is not needed. You may still see the test server in other regions, like Garena, but we just ask that you keep in mind any information coming out of that server is not official to us until we announce it through these updates, in-game, through press releases, or through our social media channels. In the next update they will not be releasing a test server because it is also close to season 7 and also it is not needed anymore. If you encounter errors or bugs after updating, please report to COD Mobile so they can take action right away. The next one is what will be the next theme in the battle pass. One Twitter user suggested the theme and this was the response of the COD Mobile to him. Don't worry, it should definitely meet that request. 
thankfully we kind of planned it that way with one season being a bit more fantastical and then the next being far more grounded and military focused. We have a hint as to what theme will be the next update on the battle pass. It would be grounded and military. I can't wait for it to know more, it will be more realistic. Expect plenty of more traditional looking camos and skins in season 7. The exact date for the release of the battle pass based on the recent deadline on the current battle pass is 19 days left. Today is May 18 and the battle pass ends on June 6, if I count correctly. So the battle pass start on June 7, that is Sunday. Next is the lightning strike. Here's the clip for lightning strike. By the way credits to Brom 1. This is the way you can use it. Launch a coordinated lightning strike on three locations. This score streak reward featured in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 that requires a score streak of 750 points. It is one chooses three target points to deliver a payload on the map. The lightning strike can be destroyed with EMP systems. It's also a new score streak. All leaks will now be available in Season 7 or maybe in future updates. So I'm not really sure about it. Let's go to the next. Next up are the skin weapons that will be available on COD Mobile. There are more weapons available in Season 7, but for now that's all I have to show you. I hope this helped for you to know more better in this upcoming Season 7. If you are new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and turn on our notification bell button to keep you updated whenever I upload a video. Start grinding now before the rank will be reset on June. As with the last update they updated earlier than the official release date. Before we access all updates. That's all guys. Other than that. It's me Eric.